On today's episode of Myth Busting with Casey, that's me, we are going to destroy one of the biggest myths in the towing industry. So as you can see, my tow truck has both a sling lift setup and a wheel lift setup. And the big myth, and I call it a myth, most people would call it a debate since it's one of the most highly debated topics in the towing industry, but I'm calling it a myth because it's just flat out wrong, is that when you're towing off the sling, you're putting less rear axle weight on the tow truck, keeping more front axle weight because the weight is being placed up there in the center by that ram, and that is incorrect. So as you can see, the sling pulls down on the boom, the boom pushes down on that ram, and that ram is pushing down in front of the rear axle. Now a lot of people say because that weight's being pushed down in front of the rear axle, it helps keep weight on your front end and transfers less weight onto the rear axle when you load that up. The wheel lift, however, is connected to that ram right there, the back of the chassis, and that ram goes right up into the back of the bed. So all the weight is being placed behind the rear axle. But what no one has taken into account is that that pry bar is a hell of a lot bigger than that pry bar. Now I say all that matters when it comes to weight distribution is how far from the rear axle the load is placed. And as you can see here, with the sling in its most collapsed position, it is actually slightly farther out than the wheel lift is. And I even have the wheel lift out a little bit so that it can still turn. When you suck it all the way in, it locks it straight on this one. But either way, the sling actually has a farther out pick point than the wheel lift does. So to test this, we're gonna put my Jeep on the back, we're gonna head to the scales, we're gonna pick it up with the wheel lift, then we're gonna pick it up with the sling and I'm even gonna extend the wheel lift out a little farther so that they are the exact same distance away from the rear axle of the truck. And we're gonna see what the numbers actually say. And yes, that is a bag of cat food on the back of my truck because this is also uh, usually my, my grocery getter too. All right, so we got the Jeep loaded up as you can see back there. So the whole reason we're doing this is you see a lot on the, the towing Facebook pages and forums and stuff like that where someone is towing something on the heavier side with a wrecker or needs to tow something heavier than what they should with their wheel lift, it never fails some expert will uh, mouth off about uh, you got to put it on the sling you keep all your front axle weight if you put it on the sling you don't overload your axle so much if you put it on the sling and it's just completely false information that the experts need to stop giving out I mean to me it's just kind of common sense simple physics that the farther away from the back of the truck you are the more leverage that load is putting on the back of the truck therefore more uh, weight transfer more weight on the rear axle but Apparently some people don't get it, so scales. All right, we are here at the scales, and uh, darkness is coming earlier and earlier these days and kind of stuck up on me this evening. We had to do this later in the evening so that the, the scales would be closed and I wasn't, you know, bothering DOT man while he's trying to work. Okay, the first test is on the wheel lift itself, as I'd be towing it down the road, the wheel lift is out right to where it would be even with where the sling bar would be uh, back here. But, being the wheels and the wheel pockets, you actually have to add another foot or so. And the big difference is that you are now picking the vehicle up from up here and not out at the end out there. So, this will be the heaviest of all of the weights. And it is, you know, you can't see, but 10,050 pounds. 1,050 pounds. So, we are going to uh, go pull this off and then grab it with the sling. Now, I know you're saying, but Casey, you said it'd be the same. And no, I said it would be the same when you have the same amount of weight the same distance away from the back of the truck or the rear axle. In this case, that's not what we have. We are holding the weight farther away since we're out grabbing the tires and we have more overhang of the Jeep uh, from our lift point, so therefore more leverage and weight. So we do not have the same weight as what we'll have in the sling. So after the sling, we're gonna do a whole nother test that's gonna prove that I'm right. Okay, so now we have it picked up on the sling and from this point, which is the pick point, to the back of the truck is exactly the same distance as when we had it on the wheel lift. But remember on the wheel lift, I actually had that out a little. Plus the tires were in the wheel grids, which are actually out here. So now all the vertical load is straight down on the boom, straight down on this ram, pushing down right here on the truck, which is ahead of the rear axle. And according to the experts, going to help keep weight on the front end and not put so much weight on the back end. Back to the scale. All right, on the sling, on the scale, 9,200 pounds, which is 800 pounds lighter than we had it on the wheel lift. But I do not believe that it is because of the weight transfer of the boom. I believe that is because we are now picking it up from right here, not way up here. Now, how do we test that? I'm glad you asked.
Okay, so I had to get just a tiny little bit creative right there because uh, that wheel lift wouldn't pick up high enough for the amount of suspension droop this thing has. But now, we are picking up, actually not even from the same point, we're still picking up from slightly in farther than what the sling was doing, but all the way to now on the wheel lift, which is behind the axle of the truck. And what does that say? 92.50, only 50 pounds heavier than we have the sling, but I attribute that to the fact that we are not picking up from here, we're picking up from actually this point back here. You saw how from there to there made an 800 pound difference, so that could easily make a 50 pound difference. But the simple fact is when it comes to weight transfer on the back of your record, it makes absolutely no difference whether you're picking it up off the wheel lift or off the boom, whether the weight's being pushed down right there or back here, all that matters if you have the same amount of weight on the lift is how far away it is from the back of the axle. That's it. Now, there is also tow trucks that have the wheel lift attached to the boom. It basically comes down off there, uses the boom lift cylinders to raise and lower the wheel lift, and the experts will tell you that those trucks tow way better, keep way more weight on the front end, put less weight on the rear end, and they're flat out wrong. They're saying that because somebody told them to say that, and they don't know what they're talking about. So I do have frame forks in this truck. I could put the frame forks on, fork that hitch receiver right at the back there, and tow it with the wheel lift, picking up from the back of the vehicle right here, and I would have the exact same amount of rear axle weight and front axle weight transfer by using that sling. The sling does not allow you to tow heavier loads with better weight transfer. Stop saying that, you're wrong. So you notice these hooks right here. I have these same hooks on the back of the crossbar on my Ram with the auto loader setup. And you can use these to chain sling, just like what we did with that, where we cradled the back of the bumper, but you do it with chains off the back of the crossbar. That way you're carrying a vehicle right from the very end. You'll see us do that a lot on the uh, public lands cleanup with the scrap cars and the heavier loads so that we are carrying the weight in closer and picking it up from farther out the back, therefore giving us more leverage on it. How much weight are you picking it up and how close can you get it to the back of the truck? That is what will get you the best amount of weight transfer, the least amount of rear axle weight. But way more important than all this, uh, this Saturday, the 29th, is our next public lands cleanup. Uh, I'll be out there helping clean up. It's out the China Hat Road area again. I think we're meeting at that new high school right there, but go on plsbend.org, check it out, get signed up, get all the actual details right there of where we're meeting and when, and any help would be hugely appreciated to help keep our public lands open so we can keep enjoying them with stuff like this. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you like learning stuff just as much as I do. I'm kind of a weird nerd when it comes to stuff like that, and. Uh, I like numbers, so I got some numbers. See you next time. One day, I'm gonna get me some new headlights. One day. <laughs>